aren't you celebrating Chinese New Year this year? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm filming from my friend's hotel room here in Beijing because my own dorm is way too small and way too crowded and just, ah, I have too much stuff. My, my roomie has too much stuff and it's just ugly. So I said to him, you know what? You're staying in a really cool hotel. What if I just come here and film while you're working? And he was like, that's cool, so thank you very much <laughs> to him. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to talk about why I am not celebrating Chinese New Year this year. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. There are different reasons why I'm not going to celebrate Chinese New Year this year. Number one, I've done it before and it's super boring unless you go to a very small village. I was thinking about going to Qinghai to visit my Swedish friend over there, but I have a few other things that I need to finish in Beijing, so it would be better not to do it. I would say that if you're interested in celebrating Chinese New Year in China, you should for sure try to see if you could find a Chinese Chinese friend who's going to a village somewhere. That's much more interesting than celebrating in Beijing. Literally Chinese New Year in Beijing is just like sitting in front of the TV and watching this big like evening show and then eat a lot of food all the time and then there's going to be a lot of Chinese talking. So if you want to practice your Chinese it's a great way to do that. <laughs> I've done that before as well. Reason number two, I was invited to a village by another friend um, he is from a city very close to here but because he's single I didn't want to go with him because like traditionally if you go with a Chinese guy back to his family's place and he's single then they will keep asking you when are you guys getting married? When are you getting married? When are you getting married? And I'm like I'm just not up for that because we're not dating and we're not gonna be dating so I was like, mm, I think it's better just not to go. <laughs> Reason number three is actually the most important one. I am going to graduate in a few months from Chinese University and I need to write a thesis. The problem is that I've been writing my book, I finally finished, yay! I also finished the first, second and third editing round, uh, yay! <laughs> but problem is that now it just came back from my editor, my American editor, and there is a lot of stuff that I need to get started on. Yeah, so my focus is obviously not on the thesis, which is very bad because for me to be able to graduate, I need to write at least something, you know, at least something. Yeah, so my plan is to write during February because the thing is, I also get a lot of like part-time offers all the time and I'm really bad at saying no because of course it's also nice to make money. So I say yes too much and then I don't have time for my thesis and when I do have time for other things I obviously do my YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, Facebook and Chinese social media. I also started my own uh, WeChat official account, check it out later around. <laughs> And yeah, then after that, then I will also edit my book and then after that, you can probably imagine that I'm not really in or up for yeah, writing the thesis. <laughs> so the plan for February is to get started. I did write six pages already, but I still need to write more. So it's better for me to do that while Beijing is literally dead. Well, Beijing standard, by the way, but like dead for Beijing. <laughs> People are all leaving because most of the Beijing population is from other places in China and the rest is traveling, foreigners are traveling around, so there are usually only a few Beijingers left. It's just, it's a very comfortable time and it's a good time to write my thesis because nobody's gonna be around to come and interfere and like say, Ling Ling, let's go on a trip somewhere. <laughs> I do have a lot of plans during the next many months, so I thought February is the time. I'm gonna sit on my birthday, the first day of the new year, and be all alone writing my thesis. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. They're also gonna close down my gym, so I can't even like use that as an excuse for not writing my thesis. Ah, oh, gosh, 
I really need to start. <laughs> The fourth reason is that I'm not a super fan of Chinese food and so if I go and attend a Chinese New Year festival party somewhere then I'll have to eat a lot of it and Chinese people, especially the old generation, they love to push you to eat more and more and more and more and I'm just not up for that. So that's yet another reason for why I'm not going to attend this year. And number five, last but not least, I've just attended way too many times before and when I don't have my own Chinese family then I, to be honest, don't really care much because as I said, like the ones I've attended the last few years is mostly just like city Chinese New Year so we might go one day to the village somewhere and to see some relatives and that's also cool but it's just... It's just not that interesting for me anymore, like I kind of, I guess that I just got over it. Anyways, if you are new to China and Chinese culture, then I would definitely suggest you to go out and attend a Chinese New Year festivity somewhere because it is interesting when you're new to the culture, but for me, I'm like, nah, been there, done that, it's okay. And I also just went home to celebrate Christmas and that was a lot of fun with family and friends and I ate a lot of food. So I don't want to get fat one more time. It's too much my fun. It's too much struggle to get rid of it again. <laughs> That was all for this video. I hope that you can understand why I'm not attending Chinese New Year this year. Please let me know in the comments below what you feel about it. Is it like crazy silly of me or do you totally get it? Yeah, also you can still send me Hongbao's if you want to, the red envelopes. <laughs> or burrito mix because I can't find that on Taobao either. <laughs> yeah, please give me a thumbs up for this silly silly video and subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below. And by the way guys, this is just a shadow from the window, just saying. Also, feel free to follow my Instagram, Lena Around, Facebook, Lena Around, and Patreon, Lena Around. Thank you again for all of your support. I love you so, 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 so much. And get ready for my book in May. Well, I have to write the thesis first though, but I will finish the book as well. So get ready guys, get ready. And also, as I said, if you're in China, you should check out my WeChat official account, Lena Around. I'm also sharing blog posts there, both in English and in Chinese. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you again very very soon. Thank you so much. See you and bye bye.